Hey there, welcome back to RimWorld. I've been away from the colony for a little bit because I bought uh, Noiter in the Steam Cell and I've been playing that for a couple of days, it's really fun. Uh, but I was missing the gang. So where are we up to? We still have um, Chig to recruit. I remember... He's good at plants, right? Yeah. And... Pumpy as well, he's staggeringly ugly. Uh oh. Oh no, a real daughter of Chirpy. Alligator has broken inside and become obsessed with corpses. Uh, why is that? Let's see, where's your needs? Hungry, unsightly environment, dark, recreation unfulfilled, observed corpse, awful bedroom, slept in the cold, ate without table. Alright, I guess she's just been busy for too long. What is this? Bionic heart. Oh, I remember. We was Alligator who I told to go and recover the bionic heart? Oh, I guess walking in this building full of corpses is what set her off. Okay. Uh, first things first, let's get the bionic heart. I don't want to leave that on the ground. Um, and then I guess we'll deal with whatever Alligator's gonna do. Uh, cool. What was I saying? Oh yeah, I planned out some uh, new buildings as well. We'll put some kind of crematorium and thing in here to see if we can dispose of some of these corpses. Uh, which Alligator is about to helpfully dig up out of the ground for us. Uh, I'm going to expand the stockpile area. I noticed that we can build something else. I should really like pay attention to what the research window tells you you can build. Because I found a bunch of other stuff as well. There's an orbital trade beacon. Um, quite for orbital trading, you can only sell goods to orbital traders if they're near an orbital trade beacon. So I need to put this in my stockpile, I assume. It's got like a... Um, it's got like a radius on it, so it needs to go like here, I think. And then there's also a comms console to do orbital training. So I'll put the console in here and I'll expand the stockpile a bit and I'll put like the beacon in here as well. Um, so that's the plan there. And then I also want to expand the food and kitchen area as well. I'm going to put in another kitchen. Um, I think we've got a few people who could be doing more cooking. Just to help out a bit. Stout, certainly, when the construction's done. Uh, and Veniamin can sometimes as well. And one of you guys do cooking as well. No. But it would be nice to have an additional table. Maybe we can set someone to do some cooking who's not particularly passionate about it, just to help out. Uh, but there's a new buildings anyway. What is Alligator doing? Did you dig up a corpse? Uh, Sammy Cancel it dead. That's a very old corpse. <laughs> yeah, let's, um... Oh, he's just playing chess next to it. Well, can you... bury the counselor? <laughs> um, nice. Alligator the loner with the corpse succession walking around carrying a gun. Oh, I love Rimworld. Alright, let's speed this up and see what happens today. Uh, Pumpy joins. Staggeringly ugly Pumpy. Excellent. Uh, I wonder if I have enough stuff for all these people. Do I have enough bedrooms? I can't even remember. Looks like this one's unowned at least. Uh, right, let's check you out. So your bio. Those <laughs> staggeringly ugly is so funny. So he likes mining, animals, art, social. Not terribly useful. I might set this guy as primarily cleaning and then doing these. Let's do that now. Yeah, so Pumpy can primarily help out with cleaning so that Tony gets those jobs done and then Tony can do uh, hauling. Tony's currently on doctoring. Why is that? I guess it's fine. Uh, and then that's it. He can do some handling primarily as well because we've got lots of animals. And then just do random wardening, mining, art. Or why not? Grab a shirt and a gun, Pompey. Welcome to the colony. Defoliator ship. What is this? A large piece of an ancient ship has crashed nearby. Its mysterious influence will kill all plants. Oh no. Another one of these things. Pikeman, Pikeman, Lancer, Pikeman. These guys have extreme range, right? God damn. I wonder if we have the equipment to try hitting it with mortars, because 
that was a suggestion. It sounds very funny. I assume that's into security? Or maybe it's the thing you actually have to construct and then deploy like a... Um... Oh, okay, we don't actually have mortars yet. It was what we were researching. Okay. Alright, we'll give it a shot then. We'll, we'll wait until we've got some... Well, it depends how quickly this um, radius expands, I suppose. Might end up like taking out the whole map and killing all my crops or something. It seems pretty small at the moment though. I can't see it expanding. I would like to try out mortars, they do sound very funny. We'll just hold on for a bit. Major break risk, who's this? Oh, still alligator. Uh, it looks like her mood is trending upwards though. I think she'll be okay. Doesn't seem to be moving, but okay. Moving now? Yes, okay. It should be fine. Might need some more radiators as well if they're getting slept in the cold. Thoughts. There's only one radiator for this block. I guess we'll put one down here as well. Mm, the weather's currently foggy rain. Maybe this would be a good time to sneak up on these guys though, actually. We could like make some grenades or something quickly. Well, that reminds me, we're making maces, aren't we, for that quest? I wonder how many of those we have now. 23! That's really more than enough, right? Um, yeah, 23. Are they all at least normal quality, though? Is there a quick way to see that? Probably not. Uh, this one's poor. This one's poor. Okay. So we need a few more still. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Animal starvation. Yorkshire Terriers are starving again. I'm sure they'll be fine. <laughs> What's the radius on this now? Oh, that's growing a little bit. Oh, I could make an EMP launcher. That's probably really useful for them, right? EMP grenades. Alright, I'm going to make two EMP launchers, which also sounds like it would be very useful against these guys. Maybe if we get them made fast, we can... Yeah, we can try sneaking up in the foggy rain and just dumping EMP grenades on them and get it resolved quickly. That'd be cool. Um, I've told Wall to make them when he wakes up, but maybe the rain will have gone off by then, I don't know. Ah, looks like Bernstein accidentally got entombed. Let's <laughs> uh, deconstruct this stuff. Um, are you able to deconstruct? Yes, okay. So he'll be fine. <laughs> That's funny though. Well, actually, maybe I should leave this one in just in case it's supporting the ceiling. I'm not sure. I guess I'll put some sterile tile in the kitchens, but... Man, that's a lot of silver. How's the radius on this now? It's probably not going to reach my farms anytime soon, but... Definitely a concern. It does take kind of a while to make these uh, EMP launches, unfortunately. I keep checking on Wall's needs to make sure he's not, like, um, starving or <laughs> getting insanely bored or something doing this. Seems okay at the moment. It's a bit recreation unfulfilled, but... Um, if I can see we will immediately... yeah, okay. I'm gonna play horseshoes and then we'll put him back on. Making EMP grenades. The the foggy rain has ended, unfortunately, but still having um, EMP grenades might be useful for if this happens again in future. We'll try watering them first, though. All right, looks like the first EMP launcher is built, and it's a good one. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Let's see. The shell will, upon impact, release a burst of electromagnetic energy. Stunning mechanical targets, good. And depleting shields. I don't think I've seen shields yet, I don't think. Uh, miss radius, 1.9. <laughs> so who's a good candidate that we just recruited Pumpy, who doesn't have any particular interest in shooting. He's also trigger happy, actually. Mm, he's a bit inaccurate. 
I will give him an uh, EMP launcher, why not? We'll see how that goes. Maybe getting grenades out faster is worth it. I'm sure they've got a big radius. We'll get one more made. Uh, and we're not far from mortars now. 500 more research to go. And it doesn't look like the radius on this is expanding too quickly. <laughs> hmm, it is quite a bit bigger now. I just constantly have Yorkshire Terrier starvation, which I'm not sure how. I've put them on Rome, which is... They can go anywhere on the map. <laughs> like, surely there's something on the map they can eat? I guess I might have to just let them walk through the... freezer, which I don't really want to do, because I don't want the doors opening all the time. It doesn't seem like they eat anything. They can walk over the fields. They don't want that. They just want meat or meals, I guess. Kitchen now has a cleanliness of 0.6, which is sterile, which is pretty good, I guess. <laughs> this kitchen is very dirty, but I think it's a bit bloody. We haven't had food poisoning in a very long time, though. I think Minla is just too good at um, cooking. It's currently 13 skill. Stout's 10 when she does it as well. I think Stout has mostly been doing the brewing. We do have some uh, barrels fermenting. <laughs> I haven't seen any bottles on the floor yet though. I don't think it's... I don't think we've uh, had a batch finish yet. Elna is not having much um, luck making these maces. There's so many on the ground now. Uh, oh, we do have 23 normal quality ones though now. That's good though. So we could try that quest actually. Uh, yeah, let's give that a shot then. Alright, so we're heading to Tefar. We need to bring 23 normal quality or better maces. Uh, show what we'll buy. Oh wow, so we could bring... Okay. Let me just check what we've got a lot of, first of all. And we don't really have a lot of anything that I'd be willing to part with at the moment. I guess we'll just bring the maces and the silver that we have. Ah, nice, okay, so bringing the alpaca and the stallion really decreases- oh. Well, up to- oh, just the stallion decreases the travel time from 3 days to 1.2. Although that might change when I add more people to the route, I suppose. Um, so let's see, we'll bring Lumi, I think she's always a good candidate. Good at killing and she's good at talking. And maybe that's it? It's not like we're going to fight. We'll bring Tony just for backup. Maybe alligator as well. Any more animals? Does this decrease the time? No. Two days though. That's pretty good. Okay, it's very difficult to just find all the maces. <laughs> Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Alright, that's all the maces that we need to trade. I guess we'll bring all the junk weapons though. We don't need any more. Should have checked if they'll buy weapons. Well, too late now. I'm locked in. Let's bring all this old tribal crap. See if they'll take it all. And the silver. Damn, 2.4 day route. It's going to be a long time to not have Lumi. Alright, looks good to me. So, we'll wait till those guys get back before we attack these guys, but I guess attacking these guys will be next on the agenda. And come to think of it, if we pull this off, they'll come back home with a, a, a triple rocket launcher and a doomsday rocket launcher, which might also help us against these guys, so... Hey, it's all prep. The Yorkshire Terriers are still all starving, but most of the hay is about to get harvested. And then we can make kibble out of hay and insect meat, I think. So... <laughs> As long as the Yorkshire Terriers can survive until then, they'll be fine. But I'm not letting I'm not letting the dogs walk into the freezer. I think that sets a precedent that I'm not don't want to set. And we're pulling quite a lot of steel out of this um, little hillside, which is quite good. Six hundred and thirty-one on the ground, and still more to go. Benjamin is straight over here. This guy loves mining. Uh, Lumis caravan has formed. They're now traveling on the world map. Excellent. Best of luck to them. We could do it more stallions to get better caravans. Um, I think they're still queued up for taming. Yeah. I guess we just have a lot of tasks to get through on this colony. 
And we finished researching mortars. Okay, cool. We'll get gas operation next. I think being able to make LMGs would be pretty cool. Uh, there's lots of basic stuff we could probably do with as well, though. It'd be nice to be able to plant trees and stuff. And cocoa also sounds nice. You can make chocolate to feed to the rhinos, since apparently they like that. Right, as amusing as the possibility of a gold mortar is, uh, we'll stick to steel for now. It requires 225 steel. It's pretty rough. Uh, where on earth do you place a mortar? <laughs> it's not the kind of thing I want in my colony. I'm also not sure how long range this is going to be exactly. I guess we'll just put it here for now, and then we'll think of some way of like defending it if we need to. I don't think I can build two because we only have six components, which is the next thing we need. Although I think we can just mine those as well, right? Like this stuff? Uh, compacted machinery. Yeah. I'll set that up to be mined. Maybe we can do two. Give it a shot. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do this until the uh, until Lumi gets back at least. But we'll try and get them built anyway. All right. Let's see how many components we get out of here. Two. All right. So just need to mine three squares of that and try setting up another mortar. Uh, plenty more steel as well. Ah, I've been wondering what happens to my hay often. Apparently one random stray animals just walk over and eat it. I should have probably um realized that. I can't even shoot this thing because it will explode. I need to wait until it walks away and then shoot it. Which it is not currently doing. <laughs> Alright, looks like we have some mortars. Okay, it says minimum range 30, so I assume that this radius is... I have to shoot beyond that. I, I don't think it's like, this is the range. I assume that's the minimum range. Maybe it just shoots anywhere on the map. Beyond this radius? That's what I'm ass assuming, anyway. So next I have to manufacture... Sh I could do EMP shells, but I don't think that does damage, does it? I could load one with high explosives and one with EMPs and then just rain them down on this. Then hope we hit. And then move in with the guys. So next I have to see how much the shells take to make. And this might be prohibitive. EMP shell is another 25 steel and another two components. Uh, well, I'll try and make some. We'll see how it goes. Right, I'll put a little stockpile here for shells, and then we'll make a little bunker next to this to defend it, I guess, but, um... Yeah, this might, be, this might take longer than I thought it would to get set up. The guys might be back by the time I do this. We can just go in with uh, EMP launches, maybe. Oh man, I've been recording for almost an hour as well. Might have to end the video here. I haven't really accomplished much. We got this kind of set up for next time, I guess. How close to trading is uh, Lumi and the gang? Wow, they're miles away as well. Well, there's stuff in the works, but we're um, slowly making our way through construction tasks. We've got mortars set up. Is this an immediate... That radius is getting pretty vague. Okay, we have to do with that next episode. We'll try hitting it with mortars and then... We'll go in with some uh, EMP grenades as well. Uh, but I'll leave it there. So, um, yeah. Thanks as always for watching. I hope it was enjoyable. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.